What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and today I am very excited to announce that I will be releasing the first episode of the full off-grid build guide. This is going to be a multi-part series where we assemble the rig that I'm showing you now on screen. For this first part we're simply just going to be assembling the box itself, so doing all the drilling and cutting that we need. To stay updated on new video releases, uh, consider subscribing, that way you can always know when the next uh, build guide part will be released. And as always, please consider leaving a comment down below as your feedback helps me make these videos better. Thanks. Now that you've seen the tools we'll be using, we're going to quickly run through the parts list as well and just as a reminder, all of these parts will be linked in the description below. So the first step today is going to be to install our vents and our exhaust fan. I start by using my measuring tape and marker to find the center of the box. I then mark two dots on the box, one at the top for the exhaust fan and one at the bottom for the intake vent. Once those two holes are marked, you can use your two and a half inch hole saw to begin cutting the holes. With the two holes cut out, we can now attach our vents. You're going to put the vents threads into the hole and with the exposed threads uh, showing up on the inside, you can attach the locking nut that comes with the vent. The last part of this step is going to be to attach our fan to the vent. So all I'm doing here is looking for two screws that I can uh, use to attach the fan to the vent. Uh, I want to make sure that they're long enough to fit through the fan uh, holes and mesh into the plastic of the locking nut. Make sure that when you do install this fan that you install it in the correct orientation as the fans are meant to blow air out in a certain direction. So there might be an indicator on the fan itself like meshed into the plastic that shows like a little arrow. 
that's going to tell you which way the air is going to blow out and since this is a exhaust fan we want to make sure that uh, the air is blowing out of the enclosure Next step is going to be our cable gland installation. So since we know that we have three of these, I'm going to go ahead and mark three dots on the inside of the enclosure, uh, and that's going to indicate where I need to drill out the holes. Uh, if you want, you can be pretty concise with this step and do all the measuring. Uh, I didn't just for sake of time, and I just eyeballed it, but it's up to you. So here I'm drilling out the holes. Uh, as you can see, we know that we need two PG9 holes and I think one PG11. So I simply am just uh, going back and forth, drilling out a little bit and then sizing it up. I couldn't find the right drill bit, so I ended up using the step drill bit, which probably isn't the best, but it'll get the job done. So these two PG9 cable glands are going to be for our solar panel wires. This is where those are going to thread into the box and then connect to our charge controller. The third cable gland that we're about to install is going to be for the miner's antenna cable. Now that the cable glands are out of the way, we can go ahead and start the bulkheads. These bulkheads are going to be utilized by our cell router and the antennas that it comes with. This is going to allow us to install those antennas directly to the outside of the box. So once again, as you can see, I'm just making some simple measurements and marking the spots where I need to drill two holes. With the two holes drilled out, you can push the bulkhead through those holes and fasten the provided hardware to it. With all that out of the way, our enclosure is now prepped. You'll probably find that there's a lot of plastic from all the drilling, so it's always good to either get you know, an air compressor or a vacuum and suck that up. I hope that you guys found this first part of the guide easy to follow, and if not, please leave me some feedback down in the comments as it would help me out a lot. I plan on making this a four part video guide. Uh, we'll see if that happens and maybe a, a few more videos added on top of that. But as for the next video, you can expect to be working on the mounting hardware assembly. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next one.